Hi guys, so I wanted to show you the Dutch buckets that we set up here on the chili farm. So our Dutch buckets are based on the principle that MHP Gardener has uh, demonstrated uh, on the internet quite widely. So have a look at his uh, channel on YouTube and you can see how he set it up. So what I've done is I've taken the same principles but I've used what's available here on both on the farm but also what's available in the UK because some of the things that he was using are not available in the UK. For example the paint strainers he was using we just can't get hold of i've managed to get hold of uh, a couple of them by getting them shipped over from the us to the uk but you know um it's not really practical to do that so we've done it with a slightly different method to that um so first of all what we've done is we've recycled some of the containers that we've got here on the farm so we've got 20 liter containers similar to a five gallon bucket but it's a 20 liter container that we've had our chili focus in which is the food that we've used to uh, feed the plants in the past when we've been doing uh, hydroponics. Uh, so now it's gone full circle and we're now using them for the aquaponics system, which is uh, quite nice. So what we've done is we've taken the top off them and then we've lined them uh, with something slightly different to the paint strainers. So we've actually used uh, mutton wrap, as it happens, uh, which is like a stocking net. And uh, we've just sealed up one end, put that in there, wrapped it over the edge, and then the rest of it is very similar. So I'll, uh, I'll show you how we set that up. So, you start with the uh, 20 litre container. Uh, we used these last year. Um, we did an experiment um, by cutting a two inch hole at the top, putting a net pot in, and we used them as um, suspended pot deep water hydroponics. Uh, it worked quite well, uh, but it didn't, uh, it didn't have enough capacity there for the tomatoes. Uh, so, using the Dutch bucket system this year, means that it will continue to recycle the water, so therefore a lot better for the, the tomatoes. So what you do is you get one of these containers then, um, and obviously all this top bit here is not, uh, not needed, so literally just, just below all of the, the top bit, you just take a line and just saw that off. Just normal hand saw is fine, and then once you've done that, you end up just with a nice smooth uh, top to that, and it just gives you a nice bucket that you can use. So after you do that, the next job is to take a uh, one inch hole saw and just to make a hole at the front. So we've done that um, about two inches up from the bottom, just so you've got a nice reservoir in the bottom there for the water, uh, and then it'll just keep cycling around as you're dripping water into it. So you then take your, your rubber washer, feed that into there, and then once that's in there, that just makes a nice, solid seal to the hole and nice and uh, tight. So you literally then just go on the inside, push that through until it comes through and then once that's through on the outside you put the other T piece, so the other end of the other elbow on there sorry, to, to make the connection and once you've done that you then end up with a container that has the elbow on the outside and the elbow on the inside. And then all you need to do then is be able to put the media into that. So what we've used is we've used stocking nets. So this comes on a roll. You can get these on you know, 10 meter rolls or anything like that. So it's about uh, 12 inches or 30 centimeters across. And it's just on a roll. So you just cut it to whatever length you need. So this has been cut to about um, foot and a half, two foot. Um, so basically just longer than the actual container itself so you can go over the top. Now what you will need to do is you will need to seal the bottom. Okay, so there's a couple of ways you can do that. Uh, what we've done here is we've literally just folded it over, run it through a sewing machine, and you've got a nice seal across the bottom. If you're not handy with a sewing machine, what you do, just get the end together, run it through, and then literally just put a cable tie across the end. And then rather than sewing it all up, you can just cable tie the end, and that will then make you a nice, nice seal uh, and, and none of the uh, media is then going to fall out. Much easier then, once you cut the end of the cable tie off, just to tie it up, just turn it inside out and then you've got a nice uh, easy bag. Nothing's sort of sticking out there, nothing's going to get snagged on the inside. So drop that in, run that over the top. Okay, and now you've got your bag in there ready to fill it through the media. Okay, 
So we've used uh, vermiculite, put the vermiculite into there, and then once the vermiculite's in there, you're ready to plant and ready to add your watering system. So if you look at any of the watering systems, then this will look very familiar to you. It's, uh, it's really quite straightforward. So we've got the elbows coming out into some waste pipe, and then it's just come straight down, and it's going into 15 mil waste pipe. So just drill the holes into the top of the waste pipe, and then just run that all the way along, putting some clips on the side to make sure there's a little gentle pull, and then that runs all the way along, and it continues all the way past all of the Dutch buckets, and then it goes down, and then back into the main line, which then goes back to the sump tank with the fish. Okay, and then the actual container itself, uh, just the plant is planted into there, so in this one it's got the tomatoes, and then at the back here, we've just literally taken a bit of pipe, and we've just dropped that in there just so we can encourage the water to go near to the roots, and then got a simple drip line in there, so the water's coming through, and we've got our set to about four litres an hour, I think, that's uh, coming through that, so it's just literally on a spike, and rather than actually putting the spike into the vermiculite, we've just put it into a little bit of pipe, and then it just encourages it to go down. I mean, none of the, none of the, the water sat on the surface, and we're getting no algae growth there, which is lovely. And the uh, tomato's just growing up there, and then you can see along the line, we've got a whole row of tomatoes. There's about 15 tomato plants, there's a couple of cucumbers, and we've even got some corn as well. Okay guys, so that's the Dutch bucket system that we have here on the chili farm. Hope you uh, found that useful, and uh, good luck with building yours. Any comments, suggestions, please put them in the comments box below, and we'll reply to them. Thanks very much.